name is Dana Bratu and I'm a dermatologist. Today I'm gonna review the Fresiderm SPF uh, 50 uh, sunscreen new velvet technology. This will be my first English speaking video for YouTube, so please, please, please wish me luck. Well, this product has uh, chemical um, sunscreen agents that are uh, able to absorb the UV radiation and to protect the skin. The most common type of UV radiation is the sunlight, which produces three main types of UV rays, such as UVA, UVB and UVC. Usually uh, UVC remains in the outer layer of the atmosphere, the ozone layer, so we won't speak about it. UVB rays uh, reach the outer layer of the skin and induces burns uh, on your skin, while UVA has a longer wavelengths and uh, reaches the middle uh, layer of the skin, the dermis, where it induces um, photodamaging, uh, wrinkles, uh, sunspots and also can induce um, DNA uh, alteration and skin cancer. Looking at uh, the ingredient list, I see the um, chemical uh, sunscreen such as octocrylene. It's an oil soluble, uh, soluble agent that protects mainly uh, against UVB rays and gives the product the property to be water resistant. So it's great for humid areas and also um, to wear it during the summer. Somehow you should better uh, patch test the product because it can induce contact dermatitis in some people uh, but it's safe in concentration lower than 10%. The next ingredient, and I will read it, so uh, diethyl amino hydroxybenzoyl hexyl benzoate, it's a new generation uh, chemical sunscreen uh, and it has high UVA uh, protection and high photostability. It gives some protection in the whole UVA range between 320 and 400 nanometers with peak at uh, 354 uh, three, nanometers. That means it can be used by people with melasma or other types of hyperpigmentation such as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, people that have wrinkles or want to prevent uh, wrinkles and photo damage. The texture is very smooth and the consistency is like a gel, actually like a very transparent gel doesn't leave white cast uh, as mineral sunscreens usually do. You can see it's a very nice gel and if I blend it, it really blends nicely uh, onto the skin. It contains silicones and also isododecane, which is a solvent and also an emollient that it's used in makeup products to make them last longer. When I apply it on my skin, it's like a, I apply a, a primer and maybe that's why my uh, foundation usually lasts longer with this. If you use makeup on a daily basis and you need a primer, you can use this SPF as a primer. You won't uh, be needing anything else. A very, very big advantage of the product is that it doesn't contain any perfume, alcohol or essential oils and I really appre appreciate this because it won't strip off your skin of its natural oils. You can also find in its soothing ingredients such as bisabol or, or sun, uh, sunflower seed oil. You will feel on your skin a very slight slippery cast. When you put your uh, hand on the, uh, on the face, you will feel that the hand uh, tends to glide uh, onto the skin. Uh, your skin won't shine, it has an anti-shining anti effect, but I usually won't recommend this to people that have oily skin as a leave-on treatment. I will recommend this only uh, if you would use a foundation and maybe some powder uh, on top of it. The biggest problem for me personally uh, is the eye stinging effect. Uh, I want to treat my crow's feet and to prevent wrinkles uh, in this area so I use it uh, very next to my eyes and I had this problem even though I tried to uh, maintain a distance from my eyes I still feel the uh, stinging effect uh, I have triggers in my eyes, so that's why uh, I am very cautious with this product and I think I won't recommend it to people that have sensitive eyes. This can happen because of the chemical filters, so in, the, in this case maybe it's better for you to switch on mineral sunscreen based product. All in all I think it's a great product, it's not expensive and it gives you a very high and very wide um, UV range protection. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe to motivate me to make more videos for you.